Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to ABQ Freedom. Um, with this video, this is a little bit different video. I, I felt like I needed to uh, put a, a... I had a whole other intro and a whole other outro for this video, but because of the, some of the, some of the uh, feedback and kickback and just straight hate that I'm getting on Facebook for some pictures that I posted from it, um, I felt like I needed to explain uh, myself and, you know, explain my feelings on it. Now, I want to be clear about this. I thought at the time that jugging or trot line fishing was illegal in all of New Mexico. I normally go trout fishing. And those are the regulations that I'm most familiar with. I have read through the entire book once. Um, you know, the fishing guidelines for New Mexico. But I'm most familiar with trout or trout regulations. And trot lines, and I quote here from the New Mexico Game and Fish website, trot lines are not permitted in trout waters. There's a few exceptions, but Lake Farmington is not on that list of exceptions. Now, that being said... I did not go out looking for other people's trot lines or jugs to pull them out of the water. That was not my intention. This fish was brought up to me by a man I hadn't met, didn't know him. I'd never met him before that day. He had pulled two of the lines. Um, I told him I didn't want to keep the fish, but that I'd cut the line off and release it. And that's what I did. Hey, I even went one step further and I actually took the time to slowly untangle the line that the fish had gotten so badly tangled around his fin. And once I was done, my family and I left for the day. But on our way out of the park, we stopped at the, at the uh, front gate, and I specifically requested to speak with a park ranger. Waited a couple of minutes for one to show up, and a ranger came up and spoke with me. I gave her the trot lines. I explained... Um, where the kayaker told me he had found them. I wasn't trying to take food off of someone's table, as some people on Facebook have suggested. I wasn't stealing the fish for myself or trying to hold it up and claim that I had caught it. I wasn't on some holy crusade against any and all trot line or jugging fishermen. I was presented a choice by a stranger. And I stand by that choice that I made. So here's the video. I've got nothing to hide. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. The last round. And this is our choice. We're going with the beetle spin. I got about 10 minutes to throw this to try and catch something. I haven't even caught a bluegill in the last two days, guys. Not even a bluegill. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper than I was a minute ago. Got a good spin on it. Sun is just doing murder on me right now. I 
And I can't even get a bite on a beetle spin. Oh, that cloud is welcome. Yep, we got salad. Here comes this guy back again to I mean, he's on a kayak, so... Dude, I caught a fish. What's that? <laughs> nah, I can't, I can't, I live in Albuquerque, man, and we're driving home tonight, so. Well, look, it's all hung up in this. Did you, did you unhook, unstring it? I can unstring it for you, yeah, someone. Okay. Not for me, just, you know, for it, maybe. It's, just, it's all kind of like. Did, did, you, did you set that, or did somebody oh, else? No, man. I mean, that's a, that's a valid way to, to channel catfish, uh, but. Whatever, you know. I got two of them. In fact, I, I picked up another one. It's got a stainless hook on it. You can have the hook and the, all that. I mean, I don't have any way to, he's kind of like a, <sighs> got twirled up in that. Give me a hold your uh, rod. Can you just take it and set it up on the bank? Someone was, uh, oh, jugging basically. That's what, basically what this is, is jugging. And this cat, I mean, he is so twirled up. I don't know if I can save him. I mean, I can cut him off, but... This should be criminal. Not, not the uh, jugging itself, but leaving your lines out like this and never checking it. Look, here's another one. I'm going to sit here, but there's a stainless hook on it. Sure, just set it up there. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, I don't have anything to, to oh. my, you got a knife or anything? Yeah, I got pocket knives, I got pliers, I got. Okay. Yeah, I was just right out over there. The one that didn't have a fish on it was uh, oh. way down there by the dam. In fact, right in my backpack there in the front pocket, there's some pliers and a pocket knife. Yeah. Talk about the needle nose? Yeah, the needle nose, just set them right over here on the side here. All right, I'm gonna sit down here. Yeah. Put this guy back in the water, let him breathe a little bit. Hey, dude, you want a Budweiser? Oh, no thanks. I gotta drive home. Yeah. Guys, this should be criminal.
Most places I'm, I'm know, if you got to put, you got to like tag them. Yeah, I'm recording. I'm, I'm recording right now, so. And put, you know, uh, your name and your. Dude, this guy's got some deep weight to him, though. Oh, that's a big ass fish. I saw, but oh man, you, you're untwirling it, huh? Yeah, I want to try and save him. I want to. Right, right. I mean, I didn't know if you'd be able to or not. The way it looked like he was so. I mean, the hook's not set that deep. It don't look like in the, you know, he didn't swallow it or nothing. But. Um. I just don't know with this fin if he's going to survive. Well, you know what? He wasn't going to. Yeah, he'll be he'll have a better chance. That's a big fish. It's a big size catfish. I mean, if it's a stocked one, definitely. It is cuz I mean, uh, I saw about 6 of them. You know, along about the same so you would think that they were like stocked in here probably at one time, all at the same time. I bet somebody was, this is Tuesday, right? I bet somebody was out here Sunday doing that shit. Or yeah. who knows. Well, this video is definitely going up. Whether I catch anything or not, I haven't caught a single thing in two days. Not even a bluegill. Are you from here? No, I'm from Albuquerque. I came oh, here. Okay, Albuquerque. I came here just to fish, because this is like the only place in in the state where you can pretty much fish for bass that has like camping. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So camping up here? Or? Yeah, there's there's a campground right, right here in the park. And we camped last night, and we're heading home tonight. Uh, you know, it looks like you're going to get it untwirled off of it. All going great. Right, where's those needle nose? Can you grab those for me? Yeah. Do me a favor. Hold that. Open your gullet there, buddy. I get, let me see your mouth. I know it hurts, but we're gonna. We may actually survive this. I, mean, I don't know. It's like you said, is that fin's pretty. Great, great, dude. Here. You got that? Yep. I'm gonna hook it into his. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna walk him out there. Sure. And release him. Thank you. Well, guys, I don't know if he's going to survive with the with this other fin over here. He was wrapped up pretty tight. Yep. Well, I'm literally about to leave. Like you. There he goes, guys. He's he's off. He's gone. Keep going, brother. I don't mind jugging, honestly, on like private property or smaller ponds. You know, but this lake is to me is too big for that type of fishing. It's too easy for it to get lost. Drive careful back to Albuquerque. <laughs> All right, man, you have a great evening. Well. Oh, guys, I don't know. I hope he survives. I hope he doesn't end up belly up. That one fin looked pretty bad, but.
All right, we're gonna pack up and call it a day. But that was a good way to end the day. I'll be back in just a minute with a little, some closing thoughts. My hands are all wet. I'm dry them off so I can stop the video. <laughs> So, now that we've seen the video, here are the regulations on trot line slash jugging fishing in New Mexico. And I'm reading straight from the website here. Trot line or set line use. A trot line, throw line, limb line, set line, jug line, or yo-yo line, is a line without a rod or reel attached. It does not need to be handheld nor closely attended. Trot lines are limited to 25 hooks. Trot lines belonging to two or more people may not be joined or tied together. Anglers may not fish with more than one trot line. Anglers may not chat. Now here's the part here that where, um, where I, I may come in, but I didn't seek this out. Anglers may not check, pull up, or tamper with the trot line of another person. Any person using... A, now, now we're back to the person who set the trot line. Any person using a trot line must attend it personally or at least once every calendar day and remove or release all game fish that are caught. person fishing with a trot line must attach an identification tag that is visible above the water line. The identification tag must list the angler's customer identification number. Anglers 11 years of age and younger must list their customer identification number or their name and date of birth on the identification tag. Just one second here. I got to grab my wallet. I'm going to pull out my uh, fishing license. All right. So on your fishing license... Right here in the middle here, I'm not going to get it any closer to the camera and I may blur it out, but right here it says CIN for customer identification number. So if you do use trot lines, you need to include that number along with your name. And heck, I'd even put my phone number on it. Even though the laws don't require it. But you need to list that customer identification number or if you're younger than the age of 11, your date of birth on the identification tag. Trot lines may be used to take game fish in most warm waters. However, trot lines may not be used in any trout waters. That's key here. That, including winter trout water. Except, and here's the exceptions that I spoke to earlier. Um... I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, but Abiquiu Lake, Rio Chama downstream from the northern boundary of Christ in the Desert Monastery, Gila River downstream, or Gila River, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, whether it's a hard G or... Um, but anyway, Gila River downstream from the junction with its East Fork, Navajo Lake, and Rio Grande downstream from its junction with the Rio Chama. Trot lanes may or trot lines may not be used in special summer catfish waters. That does not apply here. However, the trout waters does apply. The regulation that most directly relates to this video is that all trot lines are prohibited in New Mexico designated trout waters. Now I double checked the map of designated trout waters for New Mexico. And in bright purple, there was the name of Lake Farmington. Now I'll leave a link to both the map of New Mexico fishing waters as well as the New Mexico fishing game regulations on trot line fishing in the description below. So there it is. Line untangled, hook removed, fish released. And as I said in the video to the guy who brought me the fish, I wasn't 100% sure if jugging or trot line fishing was legal in New Mexico or not. I thought it was illegal, but I wasn't 100% sure. I don't condemn those who do, who do it, even though I find the practice immoral. 
There's zero skill involved in this type of set it and forget it fishing. But not only that, the lines themselves can pose a danger to the public. They can get caught up in boat motors. They can kill species that aren't the intended target, which is normally catfish. But most other types of larger fish, such as large and smallmouth bass, pike, muskie, trout, salmon, walleye, any of those fish can get caught on there as well. They can also catch other animals that weren't intended, such as raccoons, muskrats, beavers, and more. Abandoned lines, which I believe this was, will continue to kill fish and other animals long after they've been abandoned. And now that the entirety of Farmington Lake has been open to swimming, and not just the cordoned off beach, these trot lines are a danger particularly to younger children. They see a, a pool noodle or a piece of a pool noodle and they think it's a toy. Most young children don't have the skills or the experience it requires to handle a random line with possibly up to 25 hooks on it, even though this one only had one hook. So it's only a matter of time right now, um, pr probably at Farmington, before a child ends up in the hospital needing a minimum of a tetanus shot, if not more invasive procedures to remove any hook buried past the barb. Now, I'm going to be forwarding this video to Operation Game Thief. I doubt that anything will come of it directly, but at least the state game wardens are going to know that illegal poaching is taking place at Farmington Lake. And that's exactly what it is. It's poaching. If anglers can get fines for poaching simply for using the wrong lure or bait in specific waters, like if I go down to Tingley Beach, and there's three different lakes at Tingley Beach. There's the kids' pond, there's the main central pond, and then there's the special trout waters lake, which is single barbless hook. Um, there's a couple of the regulations on it. You can look those up. But if I get caught using the wrong lure at, the, at that special single barbless hook pond, it's a heavy fine. But... If anglers can get fines for poaching simply for using the wrong lure or bait in specific waters, then using trot lines or jugging in designated trout waters should have repercussions that are just as harsh. The guy in the kayak that actually pulled the line didn't have the tools or the know-how to free that fish. He didn't want the fish, but the line appeared to have been abandoned, and I honestly believe that it was. He honestly probably would have cut the line off at the pool noodle or cut the pool noodle off the line and just released the catfish back, still tangled up. At least this way, that fish will survive to spawn in the future and hopefully create many catfish babies that will grow large and fat and feed many new Mexicans for years to come. So tell me what you think down in the comments. Was I wrong or was I right? Obviously, I believe that I did the right thing given the information that I had at the time and the situation that was presented to me. But let's keep it civil, okay? Any childish name calling or insulting of people's character is going to result in deleted comments as soon as I see it. All that being said, I do wish you all tight lines and good fishing, live long, and prosper.